know when I start a vlog where I am not getting my hair done, but here I am again in Manhattan getting my hair done and then running random errands. So let's go get our hair done. <laughs> this hair is so dead and dry all of a sudden. I look great. <laughs> a little bit of time to kill, so we are in a Burlington Coat Factory because it's just so hot outside today. And I'm looking at hats. Just anything to keep busy until my hair appointment. I hate the heat so, so much. I have been informed that this one matches my dress better. <laughs> Imagine wearing this backpack and people just come up and like shake your back's hand. Who's this even by? Oh, it's Betsy Johnson over to show my mom and her instant reaction was to shake its hands so basically if you wore this everybody would just be like touching its hands so I thought these were gonna be the weirdest looking shoes that I found here but if you guys ever want to wear your lawn on your feet <laughs> okay my mom's playing devil's advocate here but I mean I was just saying if you guys want to wear your lawn if you guys want to wear your lawn on your feet then by all means do it because I won't. Found you! <laughs> Hello! How are you? Good. Your hair is getting lighter and lighter. Nice to see you again. You too. Yeah. I'll give you a little tour of the tour. I've seen life. this kind of stuff on like YouTube. People yeah. who like live so not in New York. This was like actually available, so I'm probably going to end up renting this one. But I was doing like a little trial um, um, with them. But then you can kind of decorate them however you want cool. and make have your own little business instead of yeah, I've seen dealing with other people. <laughs> Hair is cut and feels healthy again. And we were talking about where we're going to go for lunch. And I still have yet to take my mother to Sweet Green. And I was looking for a sweet green, but then we got distracted and we found a place called Great Burrito a block away. And now we're gonna get burritos and hopefully they're gonna be delicious. Apparently they're amazing. We both got chicken burritos and they're like the size of my hand and I have pretty large hands. They look so good. Did you get the inside? No, not yet. Must be inside look like it looks burrito-y. I'm excited. Yum. The burritos were good. They are pretty authentic. I enjoyed them. And we hopped onto the subway to get to Crate and Barrel. Where are you? My mom is like a million steps behind me. I'm, I'm already inside Crate and Barrel basically. Pancake warmer. I need one. So they have a KitchenAid in the copper color. Well, I kind of like the idea of like copper. How much? Oh. Well, they're not that much cheaper if you get them in another color. Now. Like, we found what I want my entire kitchen to look like. It's got the copper and like the marble pieces and like maybe even like a plant in one of those gray pots. Although I think those are artichokes, not just plants. Are those like gray with copper together? Yeah, I like I like the marble. It's like a look now. This is really heavy. I like the marble. Oh, I like those. Are those cutting boards? They're servers. That's a cutting board. No, that's a platter. I don't know anything. That's a rolling pin with marble on it. But it's so pretty. And there's like circular trays here. So basically, let's just get a cart and put everything in there. Even though that's not why we came here. We came here to find sporks because I eat with a spork at home. And I want sporks in my, my home. Okay. I found where the spork is supposed to be. But it's not here. Did everybody buy all of the sports? Because they're supposed to be right here. Wasn't it part of the set? It was part of the set, but you could you bought them separately. And they don't have them. I have, I have a feeling they were right here. There's no sports. Well, Crazy thunder and is it pouring rain out there? Not pouring. Ah. Lightning. Where's the thunder? I saw the lightning. There it is. I guess we're stuck inside Crate and Barrel for a while. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so cute, but I feel like if you dropped it too hard, this little cork would just fall out and all your salt and pepper would go everywhere because it comes out so easily. Yeah. Really excited about these sandwich plates and if you could have seen my mom's face, she doesn't like to be on camera, but the face she gave me when I was like, yes, I love them and I you want to- You are not my 
Yeah, you hear that? She, she doesn't appreciate random quirky things like this. I get it, it's kitschy. Sometimes I like kitschy a tiny bit, just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, let's let's take a look at. <laughs> I know one cared. And your father, no, had a hysterical laughing fit. Funny. I said, guys, look at mom. <laughs> So we're in Pottery Barn now, we survived the rain, and I am obsessed with these fake candles because they look so real. Also, you guys can see me in the background over there, hey! I have a 20% off sale in Pottery Barn, but I'm gonna get wet. But nothing really inspiring. William Sonoma is right there. We're going over to William Sonoma now, and I'm gonna put you guys away because it's raining even though there's an awning. So I'll see you inside William Sonoma. So we walk in, my mom is like, this place is dangerous for me. As if we're like walking into like a tiger cage, and she's already looking at blenders and mixers and all these things that she already has. Yeah, I'm actually, that would be kind of cool. What's 30% off? Look at all these cutting boards. Look at all those chickens. My mom made some sound when she picked this up as if it's the heaviest thing she's ever held. Okay, it's heavier than it should be. This feels like it's 15 pounds or something. But it's so pretty. Is this like, it's supposed to be like your salad lunch bowl. Like, I feel like my wrist is gonna give out, but it's so pretty. Also, I hate this song. Can you guys hear this? I hate this song. It's so monotone. I know that's the point, but well. I've been looking at the mattresses that come in boxes, possibly, for when we move out. And this is one of them. This is the Casper. <laughs> We're gonna leave the sound effects in. Oh, I'm so weird. Um, okay. It's okay. Lay down. No, but it's like kind of hard. It's soft on the top layer. I did my research on the internet. Um, you're not gonna be in it. You, you know, you won't. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't transfer. There's my mom. Your hair. She's, she's so afraid of being on my camera. <laughs> okay. I think this is okay. We'll see. I'm I'm doing my research. Wow, this makes me look so weird because I'm like reflecting. You guys know why it looks weird. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but part of me wants it and needs it. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? Is it like a piece of like sheet film or is it like solid? I can't even tell. It's so cool. I'm in love with this mug. My mom's making fun of me that I'm so kitschy because I just saw this cheese platter and I love it because it looks like a painter's palette thing. And then right next to it was this guy right here and it's not focusing, but it's Abe Lincoln. And it says, honestly, no, that's too kitschy. That's, that's too far, but this, this is just kitschy enough for me. I like modern clean that, uh, what's it called? Modern farmhouse look or something like that, but then mixed in with like random little odd things like deer and honest Abe. So I'm liking these like light woods for tables. I'm not into the whole like picnic bench, picnic table inside your house thing. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd rather have like chairs, but I like how this looks. And again, with like copper and marble and that whole look with maybe some succulents over there because those are cute. Just want to go out there, but it's pouring again. And the Bed Bath & Beyond that we want to get to, I think you guys might be able to see it. It's like 
that corner is Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's pouring again. <sighs> it's rain though. Lost track of what store we are perusing now. Where am I? World Market. We were heading for Bed Bath & Beyond, which is like right over there. But we're in World Market. And I just, I wanna buy everything. I'm just kind of getting the idea of what I like. We made it to Bed Bath & Beyond and this coffee makes me miss having a Keurig. Like, I love making my own coffee without like a little pod machine, but this was like my favorite coffee and I wish this brand made coffee not in little pods. Who buys a separate little cheese grater just for garlic, chocolate, spices, and more when you can just get a bigger one that also has the same grating size on it and just use that? Like, I, this seems a little excessive. Just a little. And one last store. I think my energy has completely depleted at this point. I'm tired. I need this so bad. I need to make duck, chicken, bird shaped cupcakes that need to sit like this. You can't even frost them. You can give them little like tufts of feathery fur on top of their heads. <laughs> already got a huge collection, or not huge, but pretty large collection of mugs that don't match. And like these don't match, but they match and I love them. I could have a little cat and a little mouse. They're a little bit too small. Oh, they're, is this the brand? Crazy Cat Lady. <laughs> and also, have you ever seen... Okay, announcement lady, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> have you ever seen a more relatable mug? Because this is, this is my life. Do you hear my mom calling me stupid? That's how delusionally tired I am. Like, it's a cat and a mouse. It's it's two cats. I'm... That's my mom cracking up at how stupid I am. I'm tired. <laughs> I am... I'm so over shopping for today. I think I have reached my end. I'm exhausted. I think we're done shopping and we didn't even buy anything, but we looked at so many stores. as it was before. My camera is underneath the umbrella. It's probably drier than the rest of me. My legs are still getting wet. <sighs> like, don't get me wrong. I can also love the rain. I have gone running in the rain barefoot for photos. But when you're trying to like run errands and do shopping, every time you walk outside and it's just pouring rain, isn't that much fun? But it's all right. We managed to find parking like less than a block. Like literally across the street from the train station. So that was nice. So basically today is almost over. And I don't know if I'm going. Whoa! That distracted me so bad. I wish you guys saw that. That was like the whole sky lit up from lightning. That was insane. But <laughs> I think I was in the middle of saying, I don't know if I'm working out today. We've been walking all day. I'm pretty tired. But maybe I'll change my mind once I'm home and in workout clothes. Probably. I probably am. I don't know, I'm tired though. <laughs> then again, I'm gonna be all like, uh, uh, are you parking on top of us? You're parking on top of us. You don't see us at all. Ugh. And no one here knows how to drive. Why did you slow down? You were perfectly fine where you were, and you're turning, and you're gonna run me over. I don't know why I'm still recording because this is just me walking across the street in the rain. But I am demonstrating how close we parked. There's the train station right over there with that uh, yellow car beep thing. And here's the basil. Yes, I smell basil. And here's our car, yay! And we smell basil. So my mom's birthday present arrived while we were out and I can't record her face, but I'm gonna record her hands. It's already open, it's open here. Yeah, I didn't want her to see the label. And these are famous hands. Yes, okay, famous hands. They're from <gasps> Mom's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it perfect? 
half is not gonna like this. <laughs> I don't care, it's your car. No. She's been wanting a Jeep cover. She was looking at Jeep covers the other day. I was like, don't look at Jeep covers. I already bought you one. <laughs> I got the squeals on camera. <laughs> Not like I don't it. care. It's your car. Thank you. <laughs> it was between this and like a, I think I saw like a Buddha looking one, but I was like, it's a cow. There it is. My <laughs> I think my mom's excitement is a wonderful note to end this vlog on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!